Okay. Um, what diameter must an aluminium wire have if its resistance is to be the same as that of an equal length copper wire uh, with diameter 2.2 millimeter? Given the resistivity for uh, aluminium is this and resistivity for cop copper is this. So as I told you before, uh, resistivity depends on type of material. Okay, and resistivity depends on type of material. We have resistivity for aluminium, we have resistivity for copper. Say uh, different resistive, uh, different material, uh, aluminium and copper, different material, different resistivity. Okay, and this one is important. So, um, all right. Um, so we have uh, two. You see, we have uh, two uh, two type of uh, wire. One is aluminium wire, another one is copper wire. Maybe we can. Uh, write that down. This is for aluminium wire. This is for copper wire. All right. Uh, okay. So we have aluminium wire. We have a copper wire. Okay. Gather the information first. Uh, we always gather the information first. You say resistance is the same. Uh, resistance is the same. Resistance. Uh, I can put this as resistance A and this one resistance C and they are the same. Uh, resistance C and resistance A is the same. Uh, and then, um, okay, first of all, you see they have the same resistance. And then it also say equal length. Uh, equal length, that means uh, the length A equal to length uh, length C, the copper. Okay. Uh, what other things? Uh, yeah, you have the diameter, diameter of uh, copper. So I have the diameter of copper. Diameter of copper is, um, you know, diameter of copper is 2.2 millimeter. Uh, I need to change to SI unit also, huh? this millimeter. Uh, diameter of copper, uh, but I don't have the diameter of aluminium. That's what I need to find. Diameter diameter of aluminium. So I don't know this one. Yeah, how much is it? That's that's my mission. I need to find diameter of aluminium. And then we also have resistivity of uh, aluminium and resistivity for copper. Uh, we have the value also for resistivity. So now, uh, how to do these questions? So I think we can start with this one here. Yeah? He mentioned about this one. He did mention about resistance is the same for both. Okay, resistance. Resistance is the same for both. Resistance for A and resistance for copper is the same. Yeah, same resistance. Uh, I can start from there, right? I can start from there. Uh, these two wire have the different resistivity, ah, uh, uh, because different material, ah, uh, they don't have the same resistivity, because why? Because different material. Uh, same material, same resistivity, but now you have aluminium and copper, two different material. Two different material, so you have two resist two different resistivity value. Yeah, two different resistivity value. Okay, uh, start with this one. They have the same resistance. Yeah, uh, resistance resistance A equal to resistance C. Okay, then we use a formula. Uh, R equal to rho L over A. Use that one. Roll L over A. So all these are area A A A. Okay, roll L over A. And for the next one is roll L over A. So all use the symbol C, uh, copper. Yeah, all these are for copper. Okay, they have equal length. I say 
Okay, look at the question. He said equal length, isn't it? Equal length. Equal length. So the length A equal to length C. Something we can cancel off. Uh, we can cancel off the length because they are equal. Right? Uh, okay, continue. Um, I have here, I have roll A and then over uh, pi R. Wait, do I have uh, radius? No, I only have diameter. See that? I only have diameter. Uh, so, I only have diameter. This is the diameter for copper. Lah. Okay. I need to find the diameter of aluminium. Uh, yeah. I only have diameter of copper. So, uh, okay. We already know that uh, the area is a circle. Circle, the area you formula is pi r square. Or you can write if diameter is pi d square, pi diameter square over 4. Uh, do you know this? This is important, yeah? Area is pi diameter square over 4. Uh, so, since you are given diameter, diameter, so better don't put radius, put diameter. Okay? So this area A is a uh, pi uh, diameter, uh, sorry, uh, pi diameter square over 4, okay? And, and this one is for A, that's for A. Now, uh, the, the right hand side, this is rho, this one also pi d square over 4. So all here is using C, diameter C, okay, uh, diameter is uh, C, uh, okay, so alright, uh, so okay, uh, ah, you can see the common thing can cancel, the pi can be cancelled, the 4 can be cancelled, so right now uh, I want to find what I want to find the um, Diameter for A. That's my that's my target. I want to find diameter for aluminium wire. Diameter for aluminium wire. So uh, this is the thing I want to find. Diameter for diameter for aluminium wire. Uh, so which is uh, this one? I need to find out this one. Okay. So all the rest you can substitute value. I I I have the resistivity for. This is the resistivity for aluminium. This is the resistivity for copper. Resistivity for copper. Resistivity for aluminium. Okay. Uh, I have the value here. Diameter and then diameter C. Uh, diameter C also I have. Right. I just need to change to SI unit. Uh, this one I need to change to SI unit. Change to meter. Right. What else? Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. Alright, let's write out our value. Resistivity for aluminium is 275, negative 8. Uh, 2.75, opponent, negative 8. Negative 8, uh, ohmmeter. Okay, already an SI unit. And diameter A, diameter A, I, uh, this is what I want to find, diameter A. And then row C. Row C, row C is uh, 172, negative 8. 172, negative 8. 1.72, negative 8. Okay, 172, negative 8. 172, negative 8. So, diameter C, uh, diameter wire C is 2.2 millimeter. So, change it. Um, uh, diameter C, diameter C is 2.2 millimeter, yeah, 2.2 millimeter. Change to SI unit. Uh, diameter C is 2.2 milli. Milli is exponent negative three. Uh, and then square below, yeah. Then 2.2 exponent negative three meter. Okay, so I think I can get my diameter for white aluminium wire. So let's calculate first. Uh, diameter. Don't forget, uh, you have square here, yeah? You have a uh, square here, so later on you need to square root your answer. Uh, so, what's the answer? Yeah, let's calculate. 
um all right 2.2 .2 exponent negative 3 square cross multiply 2.75 exponent negative 8 okay okay cross multiply okay what i can do is uh, i cross multiply this one and then i also cross multiply this one uh all right and then divide lah divide uh go there okay and then divide this one divide by uh 1.72 exponent negative 8 okay uh so and then i need to square root because i have this because diameter has square so i need to square root square root answer so the answer of uh, diameter a is uh, 2.782 2.782 this one is meter square all right 2.782 hey no, no no i have the exponent with me yeah exponent uh negative 3 meter okay 2.782 exponent negative 3 meter okay is the answer correct yeah 27 2782 negative 3 278 negative 3 that's right that's correct yeah my answer is correct 278 negative 3 meter uh, 278 negative 3 uh, meter okay so that's all for these questions i hope you understand okay well uh, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.